from having a baby giraffe named in his honor to getting sued by one of his supporters. Here are 12 things you didn't know about the NBA young boy, John Moran. And at the top of the list, we find out that John Wick's favorite brand happens to be Nike. When he was selected as the second overall draft pick, he already anticipated securing a lucrative sneaker deal. But his preference was clear. He aimed to be signed exclusively by Nike. In order to ensure this, Ja declined meetings with other brands throughout the process. Puma, Adidas, and Jordan were among those he turned down. Ultimately, after his meeting with Nike, he inked a multi-year contract worth an estimated $30 million. Nike held Ja as their first Gen Z athlete, joining their already esteemed roster of NBA talent, which includes LeBron James, Giannis, and Kevin Durant. Excitingly, Ja is set to release his inaugural signature shoe featuring the iconic Nike swoosh. This marks the first time since Giannis in 2019 that an NBA player has achieved this milestone. Scheduled for release in April 2023, Ja couldn't resist flaunting a purple pair of these shoes during a game against the Golden State Warriors on Christmas Day. Eager to showcase his new kicks, Ja took to social media, posting pictures of the shoes alongside his Nike designed logo. But custom kicks aren't the only thing Ja Wick is chasing, cause when asked what he's addicted to, he revealed a rather simple answer. When Ja ran up a check, he finally began to ball out. Moving on to the number two, Ja Morant played a significant role in making the Memphis Grizzlies into the NBA's most iced out team. When Ja was selected to be an NBA All-Star in 2022, he rocked the iciest smile during media day. This was because he pulled up on the legendary jeweler Johnny Dang to craft his custom grill. Ja copped the grills in 2020, which forced his teammates Jaron Jackson Jr. and Brandon Clark to add custom grills to their arsenal. Ja's icy custom diamond grill ran him $35,000 to make, and when he was finally asked by Johnny Dang himself if he would ever wear the grills during an NBA game, Ja responded with, they might try to find me or something. But Ja's extravagant spending didn't stop at the grills alone. After securing a massive five-year, $200 million contract, he splurged on two distinct Rolls Royces, the Don and the Cullinan, each valued at nearly $500,000 and he purchased a luxurious $3 million mansion conveniently located across the street from his parents' crib. Look at my crib. Hey, Pops, we neighbors now. <laughs> but when it comes to Ja's favorite animal, it's likely giraffes. A dope tribute took place when Ja Morant was crowned the NBA Rookie of the Year in 2020. The Memphis Zoo, a huge supporter of the Grizzlies, decided to show love by naming their newest giraffe, Ja Raff paying tribute to Ja Morant. Knowing the significance of their young star, the zoo wanted to express their unwavering support. Ja couldn't contain himself after hearing the news and took to Twitter to share his excitement. But he made sure to remind the giraffe that he would still posterize his ass if he caught him slipping. I ain't gonna lie, I don't do it, Mr. Giraffe. You hear me? I don't believe it. Securing the Rookie of the Year title brought more than just a giraffe into Ja's life. It also got him shouted out hella times in his favorite music. At number four, we delve into the impact of Ja's selection as the second overall pick in the 2019 draft, thrusting him into the spotlight. His electric fine dunk caught the attention of both rappers and the basketball world, further amplified by his Rookie of the Year award. Winning the award granted him the privilege of being featured in hella songs by various artists, such J. Cole's My Life, featuring 21 Savage and Murray, and Lloyd Banks' Death by Design. But Ja Morant took to Twitter to reveal his personal favorite song that shouted him out. Rookie of the Year by Moneybag Yo. This track is entirely dedicated to celebrating Ja's achievement and serve as a direct shout out to him. With songs like these, Ja's playlist is filled with bangers galore. While Ja Morant may initially appear to be a nice guy, it seems that there is also a darker side to him as well. Engaging in trash talk during an NBA game is one thing, but engaging in such behavior with kids during a pickup game at home takes it to another level. A teenage player accidentally struck Ja in the face with the basketball, leading 
into a confrontation between the two. Ja approached the team, placed his chin on his shoulder and said, should I do it to him? Then fired off on him. Ja Morant's father confirmed the story is true, except for the fact that when Ja approached the teenager, he did strike him, but in self-defense. After the fight ended, the teen allegedly issued a dangerous threat, stating he would light up his house. This threat understandably frightened Morant and his family. Afterwards, the teenager returned home with a noticeable bump on his head, prompting his mother to contact the police and file a report. On January 5th, 2023, the teen's family initiated a civil lawsuit against Ja, stating that he was solely responsible for the altercation and did not act in self-defense. One important lesson to remember is that engaging in trash talk with Ja is never a wise decision, as one individual painfully discovered. After a bad game, this person decided to taunt Ja by mocking his performance and even stooping lower by making derogatory comments about his lady. In response, Ja swiftly fired back with a tweet that read, It's free to see how hollows feel. When Ja's response may have been seen as going overboard, considering his status as one of the most athletic point guards in the NBA, one might assume he was dunking from the day he was born. But it might surprise you to know that Ja's athleticism didn't develop overnight. In fact, during his first three years of high school, he couldn't even dunk despite being 5'9 and weighing less than 160 pounds. But he still managed to earn All-State honors in South Carolina. It wasn't until his senior year that he finally slammed home his first NBA game dunk. Since then, he has become a freak of nature, and now he's able to yam on anybody he wants. At number 7, it's worth noting that Ja Morant and another NBA All-Star were actually teammates during their high school days. Surprisingly, this teammate happened to be the player selected ahead of Ja in the 2019 draft. Five years prior to becoming the number 1 and number 2 picks, Ja and Zion Williamson showcased their dominance on the court together. During their high school years, both players were yet to fully unleashed their basketball prowess, and thus they weren't viewed as the stars they are today. Zion hadn't yet gathered the same level of media attention he enjoys now. While Ja was still relatively thin and not widely recognized, no one could have predicted that these two would eventually rise to become NBA All-Stars. Upon their draft selection in 2019, both players reminisced about their time as high school teammates. Ja's father recalls Zion as an athletic kid, although not quite at the same level of athleticism he has today. And at number 8, despite John ja Morant's current status as one of the most electrifying stars in the NBA, he was not regarded as a top high school recruit. Every scout site rated him as a zero-star prospect. Despite earning All-State honors during his junior year, Ja received no D1 offers. It made sense considering his stature, standing at just 6 feet tall and weighing only 160 pounds. Fortunately for Ja, fate intervened when he was added to a basketball camp as one of the last players. Coincidentally, the assistant coach of Murray State, James Kane, happened to be present at the camp, although he was there to see another guy. During the break, James became hungry and went to the concession stand. While there, he heard the sound of basketballs being dribbled in a nearby gym. Intrigued, he followed the noise and discovered Ja Morant killing everybody in a three-on-three -three game. It took James only a few minutes to pull out his phone and call the head coach of Murray State. This unexpected encounter at the camp became the turning point in Ja Morant's journey. The head coach wasted no time summoning him to the gym. As soon as the head coach arrived and laid eyes on Morant, both coaches immediately realized they stumbled upon an extraordinary player. They immediately began recruiting Ja by extending a four-year scholarship offer to attend Murray State. Given Ja's low recruitment status, his parents had to confirm the scholarship's coverage. To their surprise, both coaches chuckled and reassured them, saying, yeah, it's a full four-year scholarship, but he's only going to be here for two. For an athletic point guard who fearlessly dunks on defenders and possesses extraordinary leaping ability, being compared to Russell Westbrook is inevitable, but that's exactly what John ja Morant welcomes as he revealed in an interview with the Dan Patrick Show. Morant expressed that Westbrook is his favorite player and he strives to emulate Russ's style of play, encompassing scoring, rebounding, passing, and of course, posterizing defenders.
defenders. Morant shares Westbrook's tenacity, plays with a similar chip on his shoulder. Morant strongly believes that Westbrook doesn't get the credit that he deserves, drawing parallels to his own experience growing up. Like Westbrook, Ja felt undervalued and overlooked as a player, especially as a zero-star recruit. Following in Westbrook's footsteps, Ja has already achieved eight career triple-doubles, including one in the playoffs. In his third season, Morant was honored with an NBA All-Star starter, just like Russell Westbrook. The similarities between their journeys and playing styles make the comparison even more meaningful to Ja Morant. Tragically, the connection between Morant and Westbrook goes beyond their on-court similarities. Just as Westbrook endured a heartbreaking loss of his best friend, Kelsey Barr, who passed away from a heart attack at the tender age of 16, Morant also experienced a similar tragedy in his own life. Trey Beverly, Ja's cousin and a basketball player himself, held a special place in Ja's heart and served as one of his role models. Trey's unwavering support and consistent encouragement pushed Ja to strive for greatness, reminding him that hard work would one day lead him to the NBA. But in 2017, tragedy struck when Trey Beverly was involved in a fatal motorcycle accident, leaving Ja devastated. To honor his beloved cousin's memory, Ja includes the hashtag LLT, which stands for Long Live Trey, in his Twitter bio. Additionally, when Ja was drafted, he took a poignant moment during an interview to pay tribute to Trey by proclaiming, Long Live Trey. Losing his cousin remains one of the most agonizing experiences in Ja Morant's life, creating a deep bond with West Westbrook, who also endured the profound loss of his best friend. One of the dopest moments in Ja's career was when his jersey was retired by Murray State. During his two seasons at the university, Morant left an incredible mark, establishing himself as a force to be reckoned with. He shattered records, setting the all-time record for most points in a season and ranking seventh for most points in a single game. He holds the university record for both career assists and assists in a single season. Morant's impact went beyond individual accolades. He led Murray State to March Madness, showing his ability to elevate his team to new heights. As a testament to his outstanding performance, he was honored with back-to-back -back OVC Player of the Year awards. On February 1st, 2020, in a momentous ceremony, the Murray State Racers retired Ja Morant's jersey. Morant joined the ranks of the 11 players whose jerseys have been retired by Murray State, solidifying his legacy as one of the university's all-time greats. Now, Ja Ho a lot of records in college, but we can't forget about all the NBA records he has and all the fools he's dunked on. Hopefully, Ja can quit live streaming Glocks and get back to dominating the league. But do you know who doesn't live stream Glocks and dominates the league? Check out this video right here.